Hey, what a start, you know? Ass fishing at Bear Lake, new venue, massive body of water, you know, and we got our first double carp on and in the cradle at the same time. <laughs> oh, madness, what can I say? So the, you know, the, the night crawler worms did the job and the K1 peach did the job, so, you know, both nice mirror carp. You know, both on the small side, you know, £7.5, certainly not a beast, and then £3.10, you know, looking at a couple of year old juveniles, so you know, that's a good indication that they are actually managing to breed in here. You know, I read some notes and evidence that, you know, it was a bit cold and they weren't managing to spawn that much, but, you know, obviously some of them are spawning and surviving. That's £7.5. Maybe three, four year old fish. So, could be interesting. Let's see what we can get out of here. See if there's some big ones lurking in this monstrous body of water. You know, what can I say about this venue? It's great, you know, crystal blue water. I think it's caused by calcium carbonate or some other minerals that cause the light to reflect with a bluish colour. It does look like a blue Caribbean sea from afar if you get up on Molly Overlooks and look down at the lake. You know, we must have got, you know, a mile of beach to our left, completely empty, nobody else here. Now there's a couple of weeks after Labor Day, we can see the jet skis and boat rentals over there. I saw this place was a bustling hive of activity a couple of weeks ago. Now where we're staying, there's a whole bunch of motels and hotels and time chairs and people's private houses. And this is the resort we're in. It's the ideal beach resorts. It's not too bad, we've got a nice room. A little bit outdated. Good thing is, only a couple of minute walk from the room down and across to the beach. That makes it pretty good. Water level looks like it's down quite a few feet here. There's a boat ramp on the side of that pile of rock there. You wouldn't be getting a boat out of there at the moment unless you dragged it out with a tractor. And again off to our right, you know, you've got another probably mile or so of beach. Not a single person here apart from me. What a great late summer, late season place to come. And hey, there's carp in these waters. At quarter past nine we're getting a couple of knots and beats again on both rods actually. But there's still some fish out there in the area. Well, 9.30, run and rod took off. Got a screaming run actually. Um, K1 beachy giant corn does it again. Nice little chap. And this little guy, £4.12. Another nice mirror car. Looking pretty happy in the sun. Well, nice this. We'll put this little guy back, get the old rod baited up again. Get it tossed back out there. Let's see what else we can get. Another nice fish, and then we we're pulling that one back. <laughs> we got another run on the left hand rod and had a £3.5 mirror. Got the rods beta back up, got them both back out. We know we waded out about 20, 30 feet this time. Maybe we can cast them a bit further, get them into, you know, perhaps a little bit deeper water. See if we can get ourselves into a few bigger fish. But so far, you know, four fish, fishing for two and a half hours, not bad. You know, Bear Lake is certainly producing the fish. God bless. Oh, 
cart number five. Another mirror cart. It looks a little bit bigger. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's not the same as the others. Seven pound eight. We had a gentleman pop over. He was from Iowa. Here for a few days with his family. He's retired, so he came over and had a look at the car up in the cradle. Sadly, that's why I didn't get a picture of me holding him up, but hey, you know, always nice to soft the car up and you watch me put it back. So, life is good. So that's the rig we're using. Got a hair rig. And off the hair, we've got the K1 Giant Fruity Peach for the corn. And then we've got a piece of Enterprise fake corn on the end of it and the hair stop. Two ounce hair weight on the safety clip. And then we got about 30 inches of lake core leader. The panko pack, get that tossed out, see if we can get another one on. Well, there's a few more bolts out on the water now, it's half past ten. There's three I can see so far. People fishing from them. And there's another one. And that's the third one. now size isn't always important there we have a nice two pounds four ounce for that little guy perfect scales pretty feisty little chap now let's get this guy back see if we can hopefully catch one of his bigger friends Well, it's 11.30 here at Bear Lake. Just about at the end of my four hour morning session. That's not been bad. Now six carp from two pound four to, what's it, almost eight pounds, seven and a half pound. Not too bad. You know, all in all, good morning session. Definitely some carp in here, albeit rather small, but you know, hopefully we might be able to get some bigger ones soon. For now, I'm going to pack up, head back to the old condo, get myself some lunch and then maybe do a bit more sightseeing while I'm on my vacation here. For now, Carp Quest, signing out.